if you have a testimony, I want you to give it to me this week. I would like to celebrate with you. One is very funny, and I want to begin with the funny one. And the testimony goes like this. I have a boutique. And for a while, rats have been invading my shop and eating my stock. In August this year, when you were praying for the anointing oils, I brought an anointing oil and you prayed for. I have tried using rat and rat, but it's never worked. I went and poured oil at the entry of rats. And I'm here to glorify God today that the following day, I found 19 dead rats. <laughs> now, hiyo ni vituko ya watu wa Mungu. Now, kama uelewi hiyo vitu, don't worry. Don't worry. Let me give you the second testimony. Let me give you the sec second testimony. Shalom, daddy. I give glory to God. I lost my mother six months ago. And every night, she's been showing up in my dreams. This Friday, after the anointing oil, I mean, the, the, after the Holy Communion, when I slept, my mama came as usual. But surprisingly, there was an age of blood around my bed. I could only see my mother from a distance, but she didn't come near me. And in my dreams, I shouted, the blood of Jesus. And since Friday to last night, my mama has never appeared again. <laughs> Let me give you a last testimony. Shalom, man of God. At the beginning of this year, you spoke prophetic words. I've lived away from my husband for the last six years. After the prophetic offering we gave at the beginning of the year, I gave a name to my offering. I called it restoration of my family. And I'm here today to testify that for the last three months, we've been coming for lunch hour with my husband. I wish I could read you one more, but on the interest of time. The whole of this week, I'll be reading you testimonies. I pray that by the end of this week, I will read yours. Amen. Seriously, if rats can die, the anointing can open a, 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 something. Ebuni sajia mwambia jirani yako, kama anointing inasafanya kasi panya, inasa, 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 inasa. According to your faith, I looked at that and I laughed and I said, sometimes we suffer for nothing. They didn't die of rat and rat. Yes. 19 of them. I think the, this one gave us a testimony again. G -g stand up. This one came to this town in, in a mess, in a mess. And uh, somebody told her there's a lunch hour somewhere. And then she came here after prayer. She got a job somewhere as a secretary. And then uh, when we were praying, you remember the week we were blessing our bosses? Yes. You remember that? Yes. She prayed a prayer and she has a testimony. Yes. Isn't God a good God? Yes. Don't you think your testimony is coming? Yes. Amen. What a blessing. When, when we say, let's bless our bosses, and somebody say, Lord, I pray for my boss. Promote them. Because when your boss goes up, guess who becomes next? But if you pray for their downfall, guess who, who has to create space? Amen. Let's consider something this morning that I think is important. This afternoon, uh, it's good to see you. I'm encouraged. I'm so glad I didn't close lunch hours last week. Would you consider this scripture with me in the book of um, Galatians chapter 4? Remember we were talking about transition. You remember what we were talking about? What were we talking about? How to manage transition. How to transit from one season to another. And I think I want to remind you that God is a God of seasons. God operates in seasons. You should know what season God is working from. And I said, 
even a former season, when its time has elapsed, it turns into bondage. God operates in seasons. And I want to recommend to somebody, while God deals with individuals, he does it within seasons. Ingawa mungu anabariki shamba ya mtu, anabariki mukulima, lakini anabariki wakati wa kupanda. Munaleo kanyesema? Ingawa mungu anabariki watu, anabariki kwa majira. Are you with me? So somebody wrote me this message. This is not a good sermon, but somebody wrote me a good message. You remember three weeks ago, we were rebu rebuking the spirit of betting. Yeah. Somebody wrote me a message that again, somebody is introducing betting in this lunch hour. Isn't that a curse? Like seriously? seriously? And somebody is becoming a victim? Don't you think that's a curse? Yeah. And I don't blame those who are introducing. I am blaming those who are joining. Yeah. Don't you think something is following you? How many weeks have we handled that? Three weeks or a month? He, and I think we should pray those people out of this lunch hour. I think you carry a demon. No, we resist that curse. We cannot be making money and some devil somewhere comes to squeeze them out. And you know these people are not embarrassed. They have no shame because their conscience is dead. Let's consider this scripture. Why are your eyes out? I didn't know you have such big eyes. <laughs> now, verses one. Let's read together. What I mean is that as long as an inheritor who is an heir is a child and under age, he does not differ from a slave. Although is the master of all the estate. I think we've read this scripture over and over. But, let's read the following one. But he is under guardians and administrators or trustees until the day fixed by the father. Now, now, I want you to know something very interesting about transition. Every new season has a certain culture. Kila majira Ikona culture flan. As much as we are designed for success, God allows us to form the culture that suits a position of our desire. Wakati wote muridhi, give me another version, brother. Wakati wote muridhi, angali mtoto, ni muridhi lakini ni mtoto. Ukiongea kuhusu mtoto, unaongea kuhusu kiwango ambacho aichakoma kumiliki kiwango kipya. Let me give you an example. Yesu alisaliwa kama mwokosi. Lakini Mungu alimgojea akomae afike kiwango cha kuwa mwokosi. Sikia. Chungwa Usalishwa kwa mti. Lakini ndio ipate afya. Lasima ngoje ikomai. As long as ni chungwa. Iko na rasilimali sa kutoa afya. When it's not. Have you ever tested a raw mango or an orange? The sour. Yesu. Ingawa alisaliwa kama mwokosi. Lakini alikoma kufika kiwango cha mwokosi. Let me show you something. How many of you have these big dreams that you think God would want to use you to change the world? Anybody? They are real, they are factual, they are from God. There is no devil, they are not ambitions, they are genuine dreams. But listen, people mature into their dreams. People mature into their dreams. Wakati mama ya Yesu, Alimambia Yesu, hawa jama, hawana divine. Uwa shukulikie. Yesu waka kemea mama yaka, kamambia mama ye. Kwa nini unanisumbua wakati wangu au chafika? Every season is formed by, is informed by a certain culture. And I want to show you five. If culture is not 
developed. The seasons are postponed. If culture is not developed, the seasons are postponed. And I can tell you for free, I can give you a good, a good indicator. Think with me. I want you to think with me very quickly. Are you ready for the exam? Yes. If I gave you 10 million right now, what will you do with them? That first thought that comes to your mind determines whether you are ready for it or not. Kama kitu ya kwanza kwa akili yako nitanunua gari, alafu nitanunua shamba, you are not ready for it. We mature into a season by forming a culture that suits that season. When culture is not developed, the season is postponed. Listen what Mungu. Potential does not grow anybody. Potential is a manifestation based on your maturity. Even your potential only manifests at the level of your maturity. Did you hear what I said? Even potential only manifests at the level of your maturity. At the potential, I will see manifest to come That's why small girls don't have wounds. Although they have the potential. Are you with me? Potential needs maturity for manifestation. But now listen. Every season is informed by a culture. There is a culture for every season. Culture is your personal responsibility. Let me show you the implication of this. As long as the hair is a minor. Unajua minor ni nani? Mutu mwenye hajajua culture ya hiyo nyumba. Chumamosi iliyopita ama ilikuwa chumamosi gani? Maybe last two Saturday or the, four, the, the, the last Saturday but one. I was invited to a family where their father died and then their mother died and then it's a huge family of about 20 something people before you put children and grandchildren. There are about 100 people. So what they were doing is they wanted to install their brother as the leader of the family. Baba amekufa, mama amekufa and they are like they are all over. So they decided uh, wanataka ndugu yao akuwe kama kiongozi wa hiyo jamii akuwe baba. You know what we did? They waited for their brother to mature. So what we, what we did we did was we went there and installed him with the grace of fatherhood because he's mature now the rest of the children in that home are learned they are prosperous but they can't be fathers kwa sababu kuna tabia ya baba ah kuna culture ya pesa na mheshimiwa wako hapa nakwambia pesa isipopata culture itahepa i'm telling you for tr for truth Pesa kwa mifuko yako siyo utajiri. Utajiri ni namna una manage pesa. Hakuna mtu ajawi kusa pesa hapa. Let, let me ask, mwishimiwa, uliansa biashara na shilingapi? Pesa kidogo. Pesa kidogo. How much? Two bags of cement. Two bags of cement. Now, I don't want to tell you what he's doing. But he's supplying some of the things that if I told some of you, your head cannot. Aliansa na... Back in Gabi, I'm Simiti, Billy. Saisi, Western Kenya. He was here in Eldoret. Walo meskia Samkis. This is Samkis. Yeah, so now I'm Jina. Samkis in Joy. Simiti Moja ni Shilling Gabi? Shilling me a sitter. Billy in Gabi? 1200. Wangabu and Mujai Kusa 1200. Ebuambia Jiraniako, Shida ni Mimi. Yes. Kwa sababu wakati uliona 1200, ukafikiria ni wapi sijawahi kula, nimemiss kuku. Na najua tunaingia Christmas moja hiyo story. Sikia, sikia. Wewe sikuwa na simu ya 10,000 na una rent. Kichwa yako haifanyi kasi. Usa hiyo kitu mkepe. Unatembea na 10,000 kwa mfuko. Ukitafuta watu wenye wako busy. Are you normal? At the, you have bundles to chat, useless characters. Listen, I have a philosophy. If our relationship doesn't add value, look for a better person who suits your thoughts. And listen, I don't owe anybody relationship. No, we don't have a contract. In fact, we met. You don't even know my village. 
Hata ujui jina yangu ya katikati. Wacha na mimi. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Alianza Okay, Mheshimiwa, let me put you in a fix. How many people have you employed in your farm right now? 55 people. Amen. Wewe uko na deni ya maid. Na umeshindwa kulipa. Unamtafutia maneno ndio mfukuse. Na sio kwamba hukulipa, ulilipa alafu ukaomba loan. Ama alikuambia uniweke. Shetani ashindwe fululizo. Sikia, ni culture. Ni nini? Ni culture. Nilianza biashara yangu na shilingi 2000. Mzee mmoja anaitwa Sila kaniambia, nipe hiyo 200. Mtu akikupea lunch shilingi 500, kula 200, nipe 300. Mtu akikupea 1000, kula 200, nipe 100. Baada ya miezi fulani akaniletea makaratasi akaniambia sign hapa niko na plot kipkorkot. Alafu akaniambia hauna plot endelea ku save pesa. Alafu baada ya muda akakuja tena hebu sign hapa uko na plot nyingine. Lakini hauna plot. Alafu hiyo nyingine ikipata pay anausa. That's how I was able to do most of the things I've done. That's how I was able to buy my house. Everything I possess today kanisa haijanunulia I bought them. Hebu toa pesa kwa mfuko. Sitachukua toa tu. Najua iko kwa simu, toa simu. <laughs> Watu wa polisa. Muna polisa ngama, nikupuliza ama ku, kuvuliza. No kwetu tuna polisa. Yes. Listen. Hakuna mtu mchinga, hakuna mtu maskini, hakuna mtu wa kushindwa. Watu wana manifest kiwango chao. Every level always reflect by the culture and behavior. Wanjiro mwenye amekuja hapa juice. Msichana tu. Msichana kuliko nyinyi. Culture. Christina Shusha amekuja hapa. Amelipiwa ndege mpaka huku. Wewe hata lift peke yake. Hello. It is called what? Culture. Listen. Your blessings are waiting for you to form the culture that suits it. Ministry is not anointing, it is not preaching, it is culture. Did you hear what I said? The anointing flows through through the country called culture. Kuna culture ya neema. Mungu hawezi kukuletea watu wakuja wakae chini yako asubuhi jioni jana juzi mwaka moja, mbili, tatu. kama una culture ya hiyo kiwango. Culture informs positions. Sikia, let me show you the implication of this. As long as the hair is still a minor, one of the definitions of culture is maturity. If we want to say somebody has a culture ama ame, 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 ame fit kwa certain culture na kila watu wako nayo hapa wakale wako nayo wakikui wako nayo waluyo wako nayo wachaluo wako nayo kuna mahali mtu anapromotiwa kuwa mzee ama ametosha kuoa ama kuolewa that's why serikali ukioa kabla mtu hajafikia kiwango ya kuchua ndoa ni nini wanasema unaharibu mtoto unasafungwa He has no advantage over the slave though legally he owns the entire inheritance say with me legally, legally. I, have right I have the right of inheritance, of inheritance. Because, god because god is my father i want you to know something god raises sons huh god raises sons he doesn't manage slaves The way you are frustrated about your issue, God is even more frustrated. As and this said, don't worry about what you eat. In fact, I'm akupea amesema usisumbuke utakula nini. Baba yako anajua. Amen. God is frustrated about your status. Amen. But look at it this way. The way Jesus waited for 30 years to mature. You know what that means? A number of maturity. It is not numbers, it is attaining a certain status. Let me show you something. Some kids will tell you today 
pesa ikiwa kwa, kwa mikono yake hayamui haistui roho yake it is what he does with it if money still controls your blood pressure you are not ready for money money loves people who don't worship it pesa ukienda kwa wale watu wanafanya kazi bank wanahesabu mamilioni ya pesa wanapeana ukiwauliza wanasema ni makartasi Kwa nini wewe trust mtu kwa pesa ambaye temperature yake inaamuliwa na pesa? Atamesa pepa, pesa kwa bank. <laughs> That's why I've discovered something. People who are not moved by girls and boys are ready to get married. But then boys like, "Hey, oh, haya. Oh, haya. Wewe umekuwa wapi? Hey, ini, uh, na wewe wacha na huyo mtoto." Ako kwa dollar cents miaka tu ndio inamchangia You cannot be looking at 10 women in the same forum and you want to marry all of them You are not a man you are a teenager And you should be allowed to teenage well That's right Wewe siambia msichana uni nakupenda and the next thing unamwambia uko na kitu unisaidia kulipa rent You are not a man You are not a man you are not a man. Wewe sianza ku, 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 kuomba msichana rent ama unikopeshe pesa. That's not a man. Kale sinawasaidia hata kama muweze kunenundia lunch. Nawaambia mwanaume akisema nakupenda nataka kukuoa alafu nakwambia uko na nini? Unisambasie kwa nini? Nilipe rent. Wacha na huyo mtu. Huyo ni jamaa anatafuta. Eh. Hey, huyo ni polisa. <laughs> as long as a child is still I mean a hair is still a child. Minor is an issue of culture. He is subject to tutors. What do tutors do? Training you to mature you. Listen, some of us should stop looking for success. You should look for a trainer. That's why the culture of God is mentorship. That's why Mungu aliyakikisha kuna baba mwana, ndio baba ale mwana. Let me tell you something. If you choose to work alone, you will work long. A wise man said, if you are running nowhere, run alone. But if you, are t- if you have a destination, look for company. One day, tulikuwa na umu rembo, ni kamonyesha njia ingina kuenda kwetu ambaye ni njia raisi, na ni njia smooth, lakini haina magari. Ukipita njia ya kiplombe hivi, urudi, kipsangu, uende, you know, utafika kwetu, bala ya kuenda hii ya, ya, ya chepko ile, lalafu uende kuinet. Hii ya kuinet hiko na traffic, hiko na bums. Mshata ambua barabara sote, saa huku kwa wakale, hiko na bums. Kwanzia hapa mbaka kwetu ni 36. Yes, na kwetu ni 39 kilometers. <laughs> Wakale wana wanamurisha magari kwa wakale you, you know so lazima wekwe bam so nikaonyesha huyu nikamwambia kuna shortcut unapitia kiblombe hivi unaenda hivi so siku ile tulienda na yeye haja rudi kwa hiyo barabara tena kwa nini atene mbali ukweli sio kwamba tofauti ya hii distance na hii ni kidogo sana hii barabara ni smooth haina bumps kubwa iko very nice haina traffic lakini kwa sababu ali drive peke yake for a long distance akaona ni mbali kwa sababu hii Ako nagari hapa, ana overtake, ako, so haoni distance. So aliona kwa sababu, anaona mbele uko. <laughs> Sio wewe, nasema huyu mungine huyu. You know, najwa Christmas inakuja. So listen. <laughs> listen. A duta accelerates your development towards your season. Who is a tutor? A trainer, a coach, a mentor. Listen, my friends. Form a culture of a student. Always tell yourself, I don't know everything. And even if I know, there is another way of knowing what I know. Is subject to a tutor and administrators. Can I tell you something? Kuna mutu anachunga uridhiwa. Ukingojewa ukomai. Na Biblia inasema hivyo. Mungu atakikisha kuna administrator. While you subject yourself. Now listen to me. You subject yourself willingly to a trainer, a duter. But the administrator is determined by your father. 
So who gives you an approval? Your duty. Write this statement and write in capital letters. Nobody matures alone. Somebody must mature you. Ushia kutana mwalimu wako wa primary na ukaria la sula ongea kingare safadhali kuliko ye. Hey, muniongelesha. Ama ame kuita fundraising ya kusomesha mtoto yake. Hey. But listen, no matter what you do to them, they are your teachers. Ukikuta unamuambia mwalimu. Unamsalamia na mikono mbili kama ulienda Sunday school. Think on this way. If a father dies and leaves an inheritance, for his young children, those children are not much better, better, off. better off than slaves until they grow up. Even though they actually own everything their father had. How many of us know that the death of Christ gave us the right to inherit the blessings of God? Jesus had to leave so that we take over. But the problem is, as long as we have not formed a culture, Listen, if God gave you what you have not developed the culture to manage, it has the power to destroy you. Angalie watu wanapata kasi, wanapata pesa, na wachaform culture ya management. Pesa na wachimbia makaburi. Very fast. Ama mjui vitu minasema? Pesa inaesa chimbia mutu kaburi. Kama ana culture. Siki watu wa mungu. Daudi alipakwa mafuta. Akuwe mfalme. Sauli alikuwa me backslide. Mungu amekata mpaka anaambia nabii usiombie huyo mtu tena. Ukikuja hapa na jina ya huyo mtu itakukonga. Usha 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 na Mungu anakataa nabii asiombie mtu. But listen, as much as Mungu alikuwa ametuma na Daudi apakwe na mafuta na uh, na 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 na, na, na nabii. Ingawa Mungu alikuwa amekataa Sauli, ingawa Mungu alikuwa amekubali Daudi, Sauli alikalia kwa kiti wakingoja Daudi akomae. Listen, that's why the people you don't like will continue leading until you grow up. You don't fight maturity. You match maturity. Stop accusing your seniors. Grow up. Wacha kungangana na baba yako atu wanakupimia chakula. Mea, enda kwako. Nilisikia mpapa alisema my children only have a, have, a, have a right on what will be eaten if they are contributing to the budget. And I thought that was a good one. Ati mtoto alisema sitaki hii sitaki hii kama utachangia tutakula nini? Changia budget. Na kama unataka nyama kucha nayo. Kwa sababu siku hiyo tunakula ndengu. Unaona je story? Hebu nisaidie ambia jirani yako. Utakoma lini? Kuna mahali haukemei pepo koma. Are you with me? Yes. Na unajua Paul anasema nini? Anasema wakati nilikuwa mtoto, niliwasa kama mtoto. Nikafikiria kama mtoto. Nikarison kama mtoto na nikaongea kama mtoto. I can tell you for free. Kuna watu sahi nikimpea 1 million ame confuse you. Management yake iko kwa 10,000. Atatumia, atumia, 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 ofio, ofio. Ikipaki 10,000 na nyana asa manage. Ndiyo kichwa inarudi home. It's like, hey, pesa inaisha na uchafanya kitu. Kwa nini? That is your level. Listen, God cannot give you what will destroy you. God can't give you what you can't manage. God will never give you what will control you. That's right. That's right. That's why if God would make you marry a pastor, God must have worked on you. Kwa muka wa pastor, mungu lazima hame kufanya kasi. Eish. Hata mini kekua mwana muke singe walewa na pastor. But listen, I'm serious. You know sometimes you feel for your wife. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I will tell every member of our congregation, the best way to enjoy your pastor Help him love his wife. Yes. Love his wife so that he can love you. Yes. yes. Let the pastor love you while you love the pastor's wife. Yes. Huh? Yes. Your story, Dr. Shabba? Yes. God cannot give you what will destroy you. 
Can I finish by saying this? Yes. When you see God open an opportunity for you, in either, either financially, based on your gift in leadership, most of the time, it's not a promotion. It could be a test. Mungu anakupea uonje, ndia uone vile utabehave. Ha? Anakupea test, aone behavior yako kama ina suit up. Can I give you a good one? Have you discovered God doesn't give money to any stingy man? Can I prove it to you? Have you discovered Mungu akianza kukupea pesa unaalikwa kama mgeni wa heshima kila mali? Because that is the culture of wealth. That's right. Mungu akikupea tu pesa hivi breakthrough. Gadia kwa mgeni wa heshima. Itatoka hata kwa watu ambao hawakupendi. Utawekwa kwa WhatsApp group senye. unauliza huyu. Ni huyu ni mtu ama ni prison? You know what I'm talking about? Why? It's a culture of that level. Bana sifiwe. Amen. Ushatambua Mungu akikuinua, people begin to have stories about you. Because as a culture you become vulnerable. You become you become visible and people must find something to talk about. And people talk about what is visible. So if you are not mature enough you will commit suicide. Utakuja siku moja anasema kuanzia leo ila nchawa imeisha. Nasikia kuna watu wanasema ninahubiri sana. You know those kind of things. Nakumbuka ile swali niliwauliza siku moja hapa. How many of you have ever had a funny story about this lunch hour? And three quarters of you raised your hands and I was like, so why are you coming? But you know what? When you are mature, your response to words and accusations always test your maturity. Wangapo nataka Mungu awape pesa? Seriously? Yes. Now listen. God cannot give you money if you're stingy. Amen. Begin to form the culture of people with money. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yes. That's why wana siasa Mungu anawapea pesa. Na usiseme sio waliiba kama unajua penye inaibiwa. Siwendi hata uipe. Uliona wakiipa. You know what those guys are? They are generous. I learned a language. The day I began giving, I've never lacked money. I used to be poor. No, I was not poor. I was poverty. Kitu ya kwanza nilipeana ambaye nilisikia kama mwiliote nywele ya kichwa imemea kwa mwiliote. Kuna jamali nipea sweater. You've seen one of the sweaters na faanga some of some of the lunch hours. Mutu alinipea sweater hivi, inafungwa hivi, inaishia hapa hivi. It was very nice. That was in 1994. Iyo sweater, my friend, ukifa. Hata kama unakiti ya kubiri, watu anabarikiwa na sweater. You know what I'm talking about? Musha ona vile mubiri anatokelesea, vila mechikwatua, haka siposema kitu ni barakatosha. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen these beautiful girls who point themselves so much? To an extent, if they, even if they have nothing, they look it. Yes. They say, if you want, <laughs> they say, if you want to test a true girl, check on her makeups during a date. If they come free, you have a wife. If they have makeups, you have a client. my story. So, so, <laughs> so what I did, nikachukua hiyo sweater, I gave it to a brother. Usha peana kitu alafu, unansa kutetemeka, is like, I hope sija miss mungu. I hope sija fanya makosa. When I gave that, mungu wakani jaribu na kitu ngine. Nikapandiwa vitenge. Nilipandiwa lodwa. Vitenge. Jaribu la tatu. Wangabu muna kumbuka wakati radio silikuja unge, unge pomoa mara tatu. Kulikuwa na speaker, na speaker alafu radio. Nekapewa, Sony! 
nikapewa siku moja nikaona pasta rafiki yangu nikasema urafiki yangu na huu pasta nitamfanyia nini nikaongelesha huyu tango huyu apendi music mi ndio niko na victim nini mama akiwa kwa nyumba anasima kila kitu mimi siwezi kukaa kwa nyumba imesima you know i love music niko na music everywhere hata nikikuomba gari kitu ya kwanza na check ni kama iko na music kama hakuna music kaa na gari yako siwezi drive kutoka hapa mpaka nakuru kitu naona ni miti na uh, musical so nikachukua hiyo <laughs> kitu nikajaribu kupea hiyo ndugu aiendi so nikaambia nafikiri ni wewe nilimwambia peana wakati siko nikute tu hakuna na nilipokuta hakuna si kuuliza kwa sababu nilijua ningelete vita na ni mimi nilisema peana sasa penye niliniuma baada ya miezi kadhaa tukatembelea huyo ndugu pasta tukakuta <laughs> speaker moja iko hapo yeah, you, you got it ingine iko hapo speaker ni kiti speaker ni kiti radio ni kiti guess what nilikalia radio <laughs> na na suspect mungu aloka ndaka nione niangalia abraham nitakupea nitakubariki nitako darara nita darara 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 alafu akapewa ya kwanza ile mtoto wa Husei alafu Mungu kabla hajampea ile vitu alimwambia akamwambia hebu nirudishie huyo ni kule nasikia kula nyama choma na nataka nyama ya mtoto na ni mtoto mto mwenyanja koma sana miaka 12 16 hapo unichinjie ni kule kabla hajampea baraka zingine zote hapo akamwambia haya sawa twende unataka kukulia wapi asema twende 3 3 days journey uende kwa milima fulani hapo ndio napenda nyama choma yangu alafu akachukua katengeneza akaweka kuni akachukua kisu anataka kuchinja munga mwapi eh, eh, eh. sasa nimejua unanipenda akamwambia sasa nilikuahidi nitakubariki sasa nina hapa i swear siku ile nilisema if you do if you do if you do i will bless you now if you do is overtaken i swear blessings i will bless you Listen. God will test your culture for the position you desire. Amen. Chukua sadaka ni wabariki. Na mnitumie ushuhuda ngine. I think I like testimonies. Kwanza hiyo apanya hiyo. <laughs> Hallelujah. This evening tuko na maombi. We are closing our lunch house this week. Now l- l- let me give you let me give you something that I think is important for you to know. As a church for the last uh, for the last several years christmas ikisha we honor the police tunaamini police ni watu wa maana kwetu police wanalala nje tukilala ndani baba sa wenyewe wanalala nje tukilala ndani mama sa wenyewe wanalala nje tukilala ndani we normally do a christmas event for the police so we buy them gifts and then we cook them christmas we are doing another christmas this time tunafanyia polisi wa airport. Wa hii airport wa Kitale wa Lodwa na wa wapi watakuja tena? Kitale Lodwa hapa na Kakamega. Watakuja tutakuwa na Christmas kwa hii airport. The number is 95. Police officers are 95. Kila askari ni shilingi 1500. So unisaidie ku sponsor mmoja ama wawili. Ama wote. Ama wote. Oh, nyinyi ni wasito. Hii mambo ya 2500. Yes. So what you do? I need like 400,000. So if you can write me a check of 400,000, that would be good. Amen. 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 Simuseme tu amen hata kama ikiku hata ikikuja unaweza weka account yako na useme ni pesa yako. Sema tu amen pokea kwanza. That's right. So if you can adopt a police officer or two or one or 10 or all, I'll be very honored. That is after Christmas. We will do that after Christmas. But tonight I want to invite you for prayer. We are still here tomorrow. We are still here on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Amen. Chukua sadaka ni wabariki. Mko na sadaka. Amen. Find a duty who must approve your maturity for the administrator to release what is rightly yours. You are a child by birth. You are a son by growth. Did you hear what I said? Yes. You are a child by birth. You are a son by growth. So we are born children. We mature into sonship. 
So maturity is deliberate. It's not a function of age and time. It's a deliberate development. I pray that you become a son. So that you can enjoy your inheritance. And Lord, we are blessed today with our giving. We are honored. Sure we are honored. That while we celebrate Christmas, we will also be celebrating our breakthroughs, our successes. We will be celebrating... Our, our, our visions, our ambitions, our projections for 2022. I pray that there will be celebration in every home. As we celebrate the birth of Christ, we will be celebrating the realization of that which you decide for us this week. So bless these men and women. Those who will be traveling in the course of the week, bless them and watch over them as they travel. Those who will be with us until Friday, bless them and watch over them. Those who are still working to catch up with their 2022 vision, bless them, accelerate their speed, give them favor. Those who, want, who are supposed to uh, meet some targets, give them grace, give them grace, give them grace, give them grace for the glory of your name. And good health is our portion. And with our giving today, we are still a testimony that God is good to us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A week of celebration, testimony, and acceleration. Amen. Enjoy this afternoon. You are loved. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow. See you this evening, those who can come for